Okay, um, also, this is a Yusuma one. It are, I'm looking at it and it doesn't feel warm or something. <laughs> it, it doesn't look inviting. <laughs> uh, it looks like the kind of thing I might not solve. Yeah, I don't know how old I am. I can't keep track of time anymore. Um, okay, let's go Yusuma one and then I'll maybe play some Hollow Knight or something. Okay. Wow, I wrote a lot of stuff last time. Okay, so what is this problem? I have the... I have the checker thing and then... So, there's a path. So I'm told that the checkers form a path and then every square that does not share... contain a checker shares a side with one that does. So there's a path and also things touch the path? Okay. Um, why n squared minus two over three? Wait, okay. First of all, is this the new copy check is from a closed circuit? Why? This is never an integer, right? Am I crazy? This is never- Did I copy the problem correctly? Okay, so like... Like... Okay, whatever. Wait, 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 I'm just gonna ignore it. <laughs> okay, so... Okay, but I should replace it with like n squared minus 1, right? So, if I have a 4x4 four four grid, can I get... A P over 2? Okay. Well, that one is an aesthetic reason. This is not even an aesthetic. This is just like... <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. It's it's fine. We'll, we'll deal with it. We, we will make it through because we are strong. Or something. I don't see how you get five. Uh... Wait, so what? So not only did they give us some... This bounce seems really bad. Okay, I, I don't know what's going on anymore. Um, I, I I think this is a meme. I what? No, no. I'm just gonna write draw one example of something that actually satisfies the condition. Um, so. You are told that the... Oh, sorry, this is... I'm, I'm being silly. I, I said path, but it just means that the set of checkers is like some connected blob. Um, so let's just put... Ah, oh, let's just throw stuff down. So there's like four corners. Each of them needs to either be covered by a checker or have a checker touching it. Uh, whatever. Let's draw one example, it's fine. Okay, what is something that gets like over three ish? Like, can I do a thing where I like. Like, I'm trying to think if this is what I want. Um, this is something that looks like it's getting about n squared over three ish. You can probably optimize it a little, maybe? S some construction that's like this. Um. Oh, oh, CC is connected component. Okay, I thought you meant closed circuit, and I was confused. Uh, yeah. So something like this will get you about n squared over three ish. I don't know what the. So at least it's not so loose that it's like, like, 
it's asymptotically correct. It's like within little O of N squared. <sighs> Probably within O of N, honestly. Big O of N. Uh... <laughs> On the other hand, here's like some dumb, dumb stuff you can do. Quote unquote, most checkers should. I don't like this actually. Uh, it feels like I do better if my. Can can I get a lot of leaves? <sighs> I thought this would be easy. Because there was problem one. Like, the other thing I can say is, like, most of the time, checkers will have two neighbors and rather than one. And then, if a checker has two neighbors, um, then it covers at most two things. So, I want there to, like, not be too many checkers with three things. So you want there to not be too many checkers that do something like... <sighs> Just for each checker, there are like... At most two non-adjacent. That's what that's what I was saying, but like you could you could technically have three. But edges is at least vertices minus one, so there are at most two v plus two extra degree. Uh oh I see. So I want to use a connected thing. Okay, okay. So Okay, I get it. Alright, that that seems like it will work. Yeah. That would explain why the bound is so bad. Because it doesn't feel like it's sharp at all. Um, cool. So, uh, so on the one hand, so, so suppose there's n checkers, uh, or let's just say, suppose there's k checkers, um, then, oh, oh, heck with it, I'll call it v. Um, on the one hand, the number of edges is at least the number of vertices minus one. Heck, just take a spanning tree. Let's take a spanning tree of the with v minus one edges, and then so there's a spanning tree with v minus one edges. So, um, conclusion: uh, each so the sum of the degrees across the checkers. V in V of degree V is two V two capital V minus two, and also we know that when I take the sum V and V of four minus degree V, you need to cover all of the cells in the grid. So this is at least n squared minus um, the size of V, and this is really bad. There's no optimization at all. However. Um, we know already this bound didn't look like it was going to be sharp anyways, so we can just do dumb stuff and cross our fingers. And indeed, this implies 4 times the number of vertices minus the sum of the vertices, which is 2v minus 2, is at least n squared minus v. And there you go. That's why it's n squared minus 2 over 3. Charge your total angry. Are you writing in Overleaf or do you use some other software to livestream LaTeX? It is. I am writing in Vim. 
So if you look at my desktop, um, there is a, there's a terminal here with notes. There is a text editor here. I'm just typing stuff directly. Um, the iPad is for the whiteboard, looks like that. Um, yeah. How many bits would it cost me to get you to speed when AMC 8? <laughs> LaTeX MK dash PVC? Yes. LaTeX MK PVC. So what that means is that when I, if I make a change to the file and save, it will automatically compile for me. For people who don't know what that means. Now you can post Yusuma 1989. Oh, is this the last one that I haven't done? Okay. It is. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, that means I have to write up the Yusuma 3 from last time with the fairy sequences, which I've been putting off. Yeah, the bound in the write-up is the wrong way. Did I flip it? Oh, yeah, sorry. Flip sign. Yeah. <sighs> well, 